Hello, hello, it's Old Twit Talks Cars. Here we are with the uh, 306 uh, Cabriolet. This is a two litre, um, 16 valve, 134 brake horsepower car. So just a quick look round. It's all pretty decent, really. Um, I'll talk to you about the tape on the rear window in a while. There's the back. Sides, wheels are a bit bubbled. Bird keeps pooing on it. So a couple of things I noticed, it seems very low at the front. Um, it's almost like it's been stanced. Not sure it has, but they're very, very low. It's got horrible economy tires. A um, couple of dents and dings, but nothing that you wouldn't expect for a 20 year old car. It's all right, need to clean. I've got some proper auto glim stuff coming, so take care of that. Uh, yeah, not too bad. I'd like to change the alloys because like I say, they're a bit dinged and bubbly. Um, it's a quick look under the, under the hood, as you Americans might say. Okay. What I do like is the struts on this, although they're probably a bit old now, but that's quite cool. Uh, so, there you have it, self-explanatory, I guess. A new air filter coming, not a K&N or anything, because they're ridiculously expensive, just a standard one. I'm going to put new um, plugs, spark plugs in it. Just as a courtesy, a bit dirty in there, I need to get that cleaned. Um, needs a bit of work under there, but it all seems straight. Quite happy with it. I'll take you for a little spin in a while. See what you make of her. Three dents there where somebody shut something under the bonnet by the looks thing. Not sure what, but that's a bit annoying. Um, boot quite hard to get into there is a boot I have WD 40 that and that's a bit looser I mean it's all right isn't it I got a week's worth of emergency shopping in there earlier we've had a look at the um, that's the pump for the that's the pump for the hood need some oil which I've ordered that's almost empty which I think why the hood is a bit temperamental um, so I'm not going to fix that back, but yeah, it goes back quite a way. Again, excuse the fact we've got no back seats. I'll explain that to you in a while. Uh, jack. Light doesn't work, presumably just a bulb. But yeah, all pretty good. So, let's uh, get you inside and take you for a spin. So here we are inside the Peugeot, uh, just to have a little look round for you. So yeah, it's pretty good in here on the whole. Uh, as you see here, um, hopefully, excuse the um, distraction of my phone there, uh, but the gear knob uh, needs replacing. So I've got one of those on the way, that'll be with us hopefully any time. So that should be an easy job. Other than that, uh, everything's good. The original, uh, CD player works okay. I've just ordered one of those gizmos that uh, you plug in here that will give you um, Bluetooth So you can make calls safely and stream music from your phone. So It's great living in the 21st century. Is it not? Um, so I'm not sure if I've already told you but this car's done 98,241 miles as of the moment um, uh, it seems to drive really well. Uh, I'll take it for a little spin in a minute so you can see. Um, but yeah, it's great. I like it in here. Um, nice and retro. Nice bit of fake uh, wood. Haven't got the air conditioning in this one, but I'm not too worried. It's just uh, something else to go wrong, really. Uh, haven't got leather, which would have been nice, but actually the velour in here is really good. Um, don't worry about the 
rear seats I have got those I just needed to get to the rear window so we took the seats out so we could take the door cards out uh, which is the easiest way and the rear, rear windows are one of the jobs um, that we need to do so I've just found some uh, second-hand motors on eBay because these uh, are pretty much useless so that's a difficulty um, there you'll see my first accident of which probably there'll be many trying to clean the rear uh, screen which is plastic and clearly it's pretty thin and um, and, and uh, brittle so I pushed a bit too hard and it cracked so for now I've just ordered a replacement patch and some glue um, I'm just gonna patch it for now and then research the best way of dealing with that I don't want to have to put a new hood on her for sure um, I'm not going to take the lid down at the moment it does work but it's a bit temperamental because I think it's low on oil in the um, uh, in the in the uh, reservoir uh, the hydraulic reservoir and that means sometimes it works and sometimes it leaves it half up and what have you so I could do without that grief uh, the only other thing here is the um, fabric has come off the door cards here which I'm pretty sure we can do something about I think we can probably inject through there some um, uh, some adhesive and maybe just stick that back possibly other than that we might have to take the tops off and um, do a proper job we shall see um, bigger glove box than most modern cars have which is nice um, door pockets I've just eaten a pork pie so excuse the pork pie wrapping the door pockets are tiny but you don't buy a car for its door pockets do you um, so that's it in here I think uh, everything else seems to work okay uh, heater's really good um, the rear window demister if you may be able to hear blows a little fan which is great and with the seats off you can see the vent for it so that's cool um, so this car is the uh, 2 litre 16 valve uh, and we're uh, in theory we're 134 brake horsepower I'm not sure given this is a 20 year old car whether we've got anything like that or not but it does feel pretty sprightly um, so I'll just take it for a little spin nothing too dramatic I think probably I want to do a um, cam belt uh, replacement on this before uh, too long so I don't want to tempt fate and um, have a cam belt go uh, cam belt was done I think about 50,000 miles so it's probably pretty much due one now so here we go we're on a bit of a country track here so don't expect anything very heroic what I like about this car it pulls really well um, and it sort of sounds quite nice but actually uh, it's really tractable as well so in third here I'm doing 20 miles an hour so if I put my foot down a little bit I think the air filter needs cleaning or a new one but once she gets in her stride she really pulls rather well um, the suspension is not bad on this it's quite compliant now when I when you see the outside of this car you'll notice that the front seems very low to me um, and I'm not sure if it's been stanced as we say nowadays um, it's hard to tell like the springs to me look original but um, you can't tell but actually whatever's been done it's not noisy like some um, Peugeot uh, suspensions can be and it handles the bumps pretty well but because it's low speed bumps obviously have to be taken with a fair degree of caution um, as you can see this is quite a bumpy road and uh, we've not got a lot of bumps and thumps which is good um, and the brakes, mm, yeah, they're okay. They don't, they don't pull one way or t'other. I mean, when you get up in the revs towards 5,000, she really does pull. She pulls well. Uh, sounds nice. The other thing, though, when you're just on the trailing throttle here with this car, although you can hear the exhaust, 
uh, and it's not an unpleasant noise it's pretty quiet on the whole you know it's I've certainly had noisier uh, modern cars than this lots of input through the steering you can feel exactly what the front wheels are doing um, yeah I really like it it's a great little car to drive um, hopefully I won't break it there's a danger of course that that will happen on a 20 year old car I can live with the rear screen and things like that but I don't want an expensive uh, engine rebuild or anything dramatic because it only costs 700 pounds so you sort of wonder whether it's worth doing on a car like this um, so anyway there'll be more later on this car please make sure you check out my blog on talkcars.com uh, forgive the um, the pork pie crumbs if you noticed any um, and actually I've still got a bit I think in my mouth so apologies oh there's a bump apologies if you um, heard that but anyway stay safe I hope to see you soon take care So just a quick add-on, uh, here's my gizmo now for the Bluetooth, it's really easy to set up, so it's already paired to my phone, um, I've saved on the CD player, I've saved its frequency on channel 1, so you just push and hold that down when you've got your frequency locked in and that saves it so I can always find it and then if I go to my kids laugh at this because I use Napster still um, but you know hey it's all part of the retro thing isn't it if I choose Napster I don't know what I'm on so obviously you can turn it down on the unit uh, but also you can turn it down on the stereo and also here I've got my little I've got my little uh, trending oh what's happened have I done it the wrong way oh it's dropped out for some reason anyway there you go so there's a little store So it's all quite fun and obviously I can make calls as well, um, receive calls safely while I'm driving. Um, so all in all brilliant, it was about 12 quid that I think, but that's probably why it keeps dropping out for whatever reason. Um, obviously you're stuck with the sound from the original stereo unless you upgrade that, but I'm quite keen to keep this car original so at least I can just pull this out. Uh, stick it in my pocket and it's back to back to normal so anyway a bit of fun um, I'll work out why it keeps dropping out apologies for that and uh, I'll let you know stay uh, speak to you soon stay safe cheers bye